Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On today's video, we're gonna be looking at what the benefits of rainwater are. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna be looking at what I personally use to capture rainwater. To put this into perspective as to why rainwater is so valuable, if you were to water a house plant, a vegetable, or a flower with distilled water, tap water, and rainwater, rainwater would always win out. And there is a very specific reason as to why. Soil nutrients is only released to the plant at a specific pH. Anything outside of that pH, the soil tends to act like a battery and hold on to all that energy and all that goodness to it itself. However, rainwater is slightly acidic, which is where the soil needs to be in order to release those nutrients for plant growth. That is why when you water with rainwater, you will have a higher harvest, better colorful flower blooms, or more foliage growth in the case of an indoor plant. The other major benefit to rainwater is the fact that it has nitrates in it and nitrates specifically are valuable because it is a bioavailable form of nitrogen for plants. So if you didn't know, nitrogen can come in many, many different formats, but in the case of nitrates, nitrites, it is a nitrogen attached to either two oxygens or three oxygens, depending on which Form. Needless to say, rainwater contains nitrates, which is a form of a macronutrient, the biggest nutrient that a plant needs to succeed. It is what makes the plant grow foliage, which is then used in photosynthesis. So because rainwater already has that attached to it, it tends to act as a fertilizer for the plant. The other benefit of rainwater is that it is a soft water and not a hard water. So in some cases, tap water can be hard in nature, well water, that sort of thing. Rainwater is soft and that means it is free from things such as salts and high toxic minerals. This is why rainwater is so gentle and so easy on our sensitive plants that may not do well when given tap water. So for example, carnivorous plants, bog plants, or our pond plants tend to not do as well with a tap water scenario, but will thrive in a rainwater scenario. This is because they enjoy soft water. And then the fourth reason of why it's so valuable, not only to the plant, but to the soil system, is the organic material it contains. And this isn't so much the rain itself that has the organic material, but rather what it touches on its way down. So if you're capturing your rainwater in a barrel that is rolled off of a rooftop or off of a shed of some sort, it's collecting organic material. This can come in the form of something as small as a clay particle, but also something as large as a seed, a leaf, moss, that sort of thing. So that organic material it collects on the way down is actually the most valuable type of rainwater out there. That means the rainwater you capture in a bucket outdoors just in the middle of your yard compared to the rainwater you capture at the bottom of the eaves trough are two very different things. The one from the bottom of the eaves trough is the Cadillac version of rainwater. So let's jump over to our rain barrel and take a look at exactly what it takes to capture rainwater from our eaves trough. So here is one version of a rain barrel that I personally made. My other version I will insert a clip of right now. This is a store-bought version. If it has a tap at the bottom, there is a slight warning that comes. If you do not have this screen at the top, larger pieces of organic material will tend to collect in the bottom and therefore block the flow of water, meaning you will have to regularly clean it. If you have the screen at the top, the bottom valve will be just fine. You will want to elevate this. I constantly keep on trying to remind myself I need to pop mine up on some bricks so I can actually get the hose to properly run out the bottom so I can have more of a gravitational fed type tap so that is one version but not my favorite my favorite version is the top cut version so I just have a simple plastic barrel and this goes under my eaves trough on the side of my house the nice part about it having an open top is that I can actually grab my water in just my watering can by dipping it in or grabbing it through a cup the issue with this is if you don't have a cover you can get 
critters such as mice ending up in there. And if you have kids, I most definitely encourage you just to do a light screen mesh over the top. In my case, I just have a chicken wire that I just kind of wrap around, lay it on top, and I'm okay. The reason for this is when mice, if they get in here, they will not come back out if the water level has decreased too much. But this I prefer because it allows me to grab water on the run in my watering can, in my cup, in my jug, whatever the case is. It's also a lot easier to clean because I can simply rinse it out and then give it a dump and then place it back underneath my ease trough. The other benefit to this is I'm not cleaning a screen all the time. All the organic material will settle at the bottom. I can simply just dump that organic material into my compost. Now, if you're on the shorter side, this may not be as ideal for you and you may want that bottom tap, but I'm a relatively tall woman, so I can get all the way to the bottom, no problem. But again, word of warning, you do want to put that top on. So there you guys have it, very simple setup. It does not have to be fancy. This right here is not fancy. The one in the front yard is a little bit more fancy because I want to appease my neighbors. I just just slightly with my planting obsession and give them something pretty to look at but you always want to go for what's functional and you always want to go with what you're most likely to use i want to thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to let me know in the comments down below and i will talk to you guys next time bye